I was literally trying to reach over to get my phone so I could call my best friend or the police. Go! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jane. Yeah, that's all I got. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what Tinder is. It's the app that was created by Satan himself. So this story takes place two years ago, sophomore year of college, just turned 19. It's lit, hair laid, face clear, Ooh. minding my business, getting straight A's. You know, everything's cool. But you know, I was kind of bored. So I hit up my friend, like, let's go out, like, let's find some dudes, like, let's. Let's turn up. Girl, you should probably download Tinder. Tinder? Girl, yes, Tinder. You ain't never heard of it? It's that dating app. Oh yeah, I heard about that, yeah. Girl, it's lit. Have you ever used it before? Bitch, I use it every morning, every night. Shit, I'm using it right now. Are you serious? Girl, I'm serious. That's where I met all my baby daddies. Girl, like, don't sleep. say less. So I downloaded it. Boom, on my phone. Tinder, cool. You know how it goes. Swipe right, swipe left. If you're cute, no. Swipe right if you're ugly. Y'all know how it works. So anyway, I swipe on this dude, we're a match. For this story, we'll call him Trey, right? So I swipe on Trey, boom, match. So we start talking like immediately. Where you work, where you're in school, all right, nice, cool, cool. Since I was kind of new to Tinder, I didn't know how soon you're supposed to meet up with someone or like how, you're supposed, how long you're supposed to wait. I guess it's when you feel comfortable. So we were chatting on Tinder for a good three weeks. Yeah, like a good two or three weeks. So at this point, we don't really talk on the app anymore. We just text each other. So one day I'm chilling, you know, minding my business, drinking my water. And he calls me. Yo, what's up? Hey, beautiful. What you up to? I mean, I'm just chilling. <laughs> That's what's up. So I was thinking about coming over later. Word? Yeah, come through. Okay, word. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Also, pause. What are you trying to do? Because I'm not that type of girl. I don't bust it open when I first meet you. So what are you trying to do? <laughs> Yo, don't don't even worry about that. I'm gonna cook you dinner tonight. You wanna cook? Yeah, you already know. <laughs> what are you gonna cook? cook? Lasagna is my specialty. Okay, okay. Mind you, I live in a dorm. So, and I have um, a meal plan, so I don't really cook in my dorm. Even though there's a shared kitchen, I don't cook because if your girl got a meal plan, what's the point of cooking? Like, if I want to eat, I just hit the dining hall. So I don't have any pots and pans or anything. So I let him know that. I don't have any pots and pans. Don't worry, I'm going to bring everything. Oh, you're going to bring it? Yeah, I said don't worry. Okay, okay. So anyway, that same night, 7.30 rolls up. He calls me. Oh, you're outside? Yeah. I bet, I'm coming. So I go outside to where he is. He's not a catfish, he looks exactly like his pictures. But the first thing I notice is that homeboy has a whole luggage. Like he's about to hit the airport right after this. So I'm like, what's that for? Why do you, why do you have your luggage here? That's where I keep my supplies. What supplies? Oh, you forgot the pots and pans. I'm about to chef it up for you. You brought the whole luggage full of pots and pans? Yo, he must be a chef, right? We go to my, my dorm house, whatever. I'm like, so this is the common area. This is the kitchen that we're about to go right back to. Um, I can just take you to my room just to like settle down, like take off your jacket, whatever. So we go down to my room. He gets so comfortable on my bed. And that makes me feel the type of way because if I don't know you, do not sit on my bed. Don't touch my bed. Don't even look at my bed. But he sat on my bed. He laid mad comfortable. He grabbed my laptop. Yo, I, I go around, I sit next to him just to see what he's doing on my la on my laptop. And he, Netflix.com. So I'm like, oh, should we go back upstairs to cook? He's like, just one second, let me just check something real quick. Uh, okay. So mind you, I was wearing, uh, I was wearing a hoodie with shorts and like long socks. So it wasn't, it wasn't provocative or anything. But as I'm just awkwardly sitting there waiting for him, he's like, Yo, I see you got them thick thighs, shawty. Looking like chocolate bars. Thick chocolate bars. Excuse me, what? Thick chocolate? <laughs> so I like, I sit next to him as he's looking up, as he's like looking up whatever he's looking up on Netflix, right? Oh, what are you looking for? Oh, just, you know, scrolling through to see what we gonna watch for later. Okay, that makes sense. So we're just chilling and he starts like, cuddling his head on me like slowly like you know how when a baby wants to be held they just like lean into their mothers to be you know cradled that's exactly what he did and i literally said yo what are you doing yo 
I'm trying to cuddle right now. Yo, I'm really not trying to cuddle. I kid you not, next thing you know, he kisses me. The whole kiss tasted like tuna, airwax, oh, wow. barbecue sauce, oh, wow. and dried up edge control. Like, I was disgusted. Do you know what toothpaste is? I went to Burger King right before this. Yo, I was hungry. But if you said you were gonna cook, why did you go to Burger King? It was just a real quick snack. Real quick snack. Anyway, so I sit up and like he sits up and we're on opposite sides of the bed. And I'm like asking him, oh, so how's your day? Blah, 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 this and that. In my head, I was plotting a way to kind of get him out of here because clearly he's not cooking and clearly my time cannot be reclaimed. So he needs to go. This is where it gets serious. I can't remember, but I like turned to do some to get something or something. I turned back around. Next thing you know, this dude is in my face on me. Like, yo, I'm being so serious right now. He's like on me. And I'm like trying to push him off. Like, yo, what are you doing? He's like, yeah, relax, relax. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Like, at that moment, I was getting really scared because I was really the worst was just going through my head and i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about the worst was going through my head and i'm like trying to push him off like hey, yo get off of me and he's not budging it was weird because he was like pushing his body on top of me but like he wasn't doing anything so i was confused but i was also super uncomfortable so i was like yo get off me get off me his hands go down to my thighs and that's when i get i like i totally like get so scared he's like on top of me and i'm reaching to somehow find my, like I'm trying to keep my cool because I didn't want to like, I didn't want to just start yelling and screaming and then maybe he does something, I don't know. So I was trying to keep my cool, like play along, like, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm laying back, I'm trying to reach my phone as, as the best as I can so I could call my best friend or shit, even call the police. So I'm trying to reach for my phone, I can't really reach it. This dude is like still on top of me and at this point now he's like grabbing my legs. So I'm like, what the hell? So finally I get my phone and I tell him like, oh, one second, one second. I text my best friend, I'm like, yo, SOS, I need help, come to my room right now. She's such a great friend, she's such a good friend, like she didn't even question it. I kid you not, in the next 30 seconds, one minute, she busts in my room. Thank God I didn't lock the door, she busts in my room. She's like, yo, yo who's this? I'm like, you gotta go, like at this point, as my friend busted in, I was able to, you know, get off, like, get off of the bed. So my friend, my friend, be my friend. I love her so much. She made, she like made up the story. She's like, Yo, Jane, we gotta go right now. My mom's in the hospital. She need yo. We gotta go right now. So I'm like, Oh shit, let me play along. Are you serious? She's in the hospital. Yo, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yo, Trey, you gotta go too. You gotta go. Nah, I'm gonna wait. You have to leave yo are you serious yo you made me come over here all for no reason first of all no one made you come over here second of all you lied making it seem like you were gonna come and cook pause am i gullible for believing that that he actually was gonna cook but my thing is if he brought a whole suitcase a whole luggage of stuff maybe i'm dumb for believing that but i really thought he was gonna cook yo are you serious right now are you serious? yes i'm serious get out of her room what are you what are you still doing here i was about to hit 911 or call my school security i was about to do something yo if you don't leave right now i'm calling the police i'm dead ass calling the police yo for real yo for real yes, for real get up he got up grabbed his whole ass suitcase his jacket everything he came with walking past us Yo, fuck off, you fucking kidding me. Yo, where am I supposed to sleep tonight? Fuck that gotta do with me. Do I look like a homeless shelter? Where am I gonna sleep tonight? My nigga, where did you come from? Yo, I came all the way from Newton. My boy bailed on me. Yo, my boy didn't come through. Once again, I'm not a homeless shelter, so figure that out yourself. Let's go. So I lock my room like behind me. I'm like, yo, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. This man has the nerve to ask me. So, you don't want me to cook for you? If I... The way I was gonna slap the shit out of his face, but God said, nah. So I didn't slap him, so he left. I made sure he, I made sure I watched him get on the shuttle. There's a shuttle that goes from my campus to the to the train station. So we watched him get on the shuttle that goes where, wherever. Just as long as he wasn't on campus anymore. But I was still kind of scared because 
Let's say if I wasn't able to reach my phone or let's say my phone was dead, what was gonna happen after that? I don't wanna think about it, but that's, that truly, truly, truly scared me. Honestly, guys, you don't realize how I was feeling in that moment. I don't wanna blame it on myself for allowing him to come into my room. That was my first time using Tinder. Now I know if you're gonna use Tinder, make sure you meet in a public area. So after he leaves, me and my friend were like, I'm telling her everything that happened. Our friendship is like so playful, we joke around a lot. But she said when she got that text, something didn't feel right to her. So she literally dropped everything she was doing. She was with other people. She literally dropped everything she was doing and she ran to see what's up with me. Literally, I love you. You're probably watching this and you know who you are. You a real one. So immediately I got back to my room. When I tell you I blocked him from everywhere, yo. Unmatch, report, block, everything. Yeah, that was that until the like two weeks later I get a I get a random text message like yo it's Trey. What what more do you want from me? What what is it that you want? Are you are you still trying to cook for real? I blocked that number two, but crazy thing happened. So I have a new dude, he took me out. We went out to like a bowling date. The guy who was working the bowling alley who you have to pay for get your shoes from, tell me it, yo, tell me why it was Trey. Tell me why, oh my goodness. That's a whole nother story. If you guys want me to do a story time on how that went down with my dude and Trey, let me know. Oh my God, that sounds so ratchet. My dude and Trey, Trey. Uh, his name actually isn't Trey, but obviously I'm just gonna call him Trey for the, for the sake of this video. Um, but yeah, so that was my... Yo, I can't get enough of this Fenty lip gloss. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna hear what that story was like. I can upload. Yo, I love doing story times. So if you guys want me to do that story, I'll definitely do it. Um, what else? So yeah, guys, that's the end of my story time. First Tinder date ever and the first Tinder date that went wrong. It could have been worse. I thank God that it was what it was. Um, yeah, next time if you guys want to use Tinder, meet in a public area. Always let your friends know that you're about to meet up with someone. If you guys meet up and he has a suitcase, run. run. So yeah, um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be uploading. I've been uploading more frequently and I, I'm so proud of myself. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be uploading another video real soon. So hit the bell icon. I don't even know where it is, but if you're using the app or whatever, you'll probably see a bell icon. Tap that and you'll be notified whenever I post a video. Yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching.